Papa Yo. <laughs> it is Burn Team Real Talk Extra. <laughs> oh Lord, so this is our limited edition. This is Blood Red. Yes. The limited edition real talk extra dry fit yes. and this is how we roll in man mm -hmm. yeah? so as we proceed to give you what you need the topic for today people mm. understanding the male gender understanding men on a whole yeah and we have the new feature on board and the new feature is the whatsapp real time yes. commenting and sending your shout outs and your love to every team member across the globe yes so what you do on our Facebook section. Yes? You touch the WhatsApp button, mm -hmm. you record your voice note, you send it, and we play it yes. on air in real time. Let's get this thing going, man. Yes. Chica, we see in England and Canada in the house. Inside. So, Much if you're taking a look on this side or on this side, Hey, pose. <laughs> Interesting parties. It is the limited edition. Yeah, real talk. talk. Extra dry fit inside, outside. Limited edition. Yes, yeah? yes. We will not be printing a lot of these. <laughs> yes, right? Yes. So, we want to thank you guys, all you guys who came on last night. And this morning, our aerobic session was really, really nice. Change the location a bit. And um, we want to big up everybody on the live right now. Yes. Guyanese Fit Chick, always present. And Abby. We call him yes. Abby Boone Team England Man. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, our new inductee into the crazy life of basic unconventional raw nutrition <laughs> we're talking about physical health emotional health mental fitness physical fitness and we try to encompass the holistic vibration so that we can navigate this world <laughs> yeah Yes. So, this is our limited edition Real Talk Extra. Mm -hmm. You are on Real Talk Extra, and yes. we will not be printing a lot of these. I'm saying it again for them <laughs> and those. Yes? Hi, Natalie. Big up yourself. We have two Natalie's. No, we have two Natalie's on night. <laughs> so, who said hi first? So, we have Natalie Johnson. Natalie Johnson, one of my oldest friends. And long time I see you, I know you're working shift. And you told me that, you know, it's busy. Yes. So glad to have you on our live. This is our old Burn Team member. Eh? Mm -hmm. If you go way back into our pictures, you will see Natalie. Yes. He's way back into the pictures. Way back. <laughs> so Natalie, our new feature, and for everyone on the live, the WhatsApp button on Burn Team page, all you have to do, is click the WhatsApp button, record your voice note, and the access phrase is, my name is, whatever your name is, mm -hmm. and you are watching. Real Talk Live. <laughs> and then you can say a comment or your shout outs or your love. Yes. Yes, Gail, I know you're liking the, the, the new vibration. Well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gail, you're like one of these, right? Yes. <laughs> Yes. So the topic for today is understanding men. 
these people? We did a live called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. So ladies and gentlemen, Gail, you could send your voice note and say hi. Eh? We're waiting on your voice note. Yes, we Abby, are. you know how to do it. Yes. Run your things, right? Yes, run your things. So, we did a live before. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Venus. Yes. It was nice, you know. So ladies, it's going to be a little different today because ask a man. So we're going to have two minutes on the segment called Ask a Man, which is me. <laughs> right? You know your ladies have questions like why do men cheat? Why do men do this? Why do men do that? I am going to be very brutally honest on this live today. It is about perspective and we like to share points of view. Yes. 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 So Chica, mm -hmm. tell me, <laughs> tell yes. us, how was your morning? Yes, we had a lovely morning, as you all would have seen. That we are waiting for you to nice. come on that aerobic session. <laughs> Trouble. The sweat was nice. Yeah. The sun was beautiful. Yes. Big up Chinese on the live. That is the second Natalie, so we'll call one Natalie and one Chinese. All right. Yeah? We're good to go. Who else is on the live? Can't see everybody. Right? So as we proceed, we're going to get into the point form. Yes. So click share if you're looking at this on Facebook. Yes. And if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Nothing. Like. <laughs> Share, leave a comment. Natalie, now feel free to utilize our WhatsApp button. We play the voice notes on real time. So if you want to send your shout outs or your love or just say good morning, good evening, good night, you know, pay your respects. Yes, yes. You know, yes. it would be nice to hear the voices. Mm -hmm. I like to hear voices. So anybody, we know sometimes some persons have technical difficulties. So the number is one eight six eight three four six zero seven three zero big up andy miller on the live yes yeah man so we you have know this is the inside. this is we time this yes. is our time <laughs> so we have canada in the house so big up canada that is ghani's fit chick we're supposed to be doing a collaboration with ghani's fit chick we are collaborating so she's part of the family she's inside it <laughs> wherever how it come it come yes. and um Big up Asia Lion on the live. Ghani's for check again. Put your YouTube or your Facebook in the comment section links. And yeah. we will, you know, we peeps with us with the support. So yes. feel free to check out after the live. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. man, and the inside. Andy, well, we know that you're going to be sending. Yeah? Sending your voice <laughs> note today. Okay. Pin the number to the line. No problem. We will. We'll have to drop it in the comments. We will drop it in the comment section. So we're waiting before we get into the vibration. Yes. Andy, you guys know Candy Barbara is on the live. Hi, Candy. Big up yourself. And um, yeah, we're going to have a two minute section called Ask a Man. Mm -hmm. You know what I realize? Ladies tend to talk to ladies about men. Yeah. Ladies don't have no insight on men. Ask a man. Exactly. <laughs> don't depend on their girlfriend. Ask a guy. Yeah? So, we have a point system where we have different points in which men operate under. Yes? So, Chica will be dropping the... Number, I just <laughs> dropped the number. Right, so the number is present. So you just click send your voice note and we on like can. Yes. yes. So we will be taking the points very slowly. Yes. Right, so we will take one point mm -hmm. and we will move talk on. about it and yes. then move along. Yes. So ladies, in the comment section, in your live feed, anyhow you want to do it in the voice notes, tell me what type of man you think you have <laughs> 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 
record it after that. What type of man? What type of man? Is he an ambitious man? I'll give some examples. Mm -hmm. You know, is he a lazy man? Some ladies end up with lazy guys. I mean, real is real. I ain't trying to be, you know, if a guy lazy, he lazy. Call him out on it. Right? If, you know, so ladies, if you feel like, or maybe guys in the past that you have really had relationships with, what type of man you always come across? So like, you know, one of our members always said that she always comes across broken men. Yeah, broken men. Right. So ladies, in the comment section, what type of man you tend to always pick up? Yeah? Place it in the comment section or send a voice note. Yes. So we're chilling, people. I hope all you hit the um, share button already. And we're going to deal in the point system as we move forward. Yes. Point number one. What? So these points are what you need to know about men. So in this segment, we're going to queue it up. What you ladies need to know about men. Yes. Yeah. Number one. Yes. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'll be, we have... I'll be sending it on a voice note, but nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, first one. We know that, well, we don't know. Not everyone knows, <laughs> right? So we were actually discussing, we started off with it on the live yesterday, hmm. right? Which is men, they are not... You know, emo you know, as emotionally comfortable with sharing their feelings, right? So they are not comfortable navigating their emotional, you know, the emotional waters. They don't like to, you know, go through that type of thing. So, um, we did touch on it. Guys, yeah. um, have been socially programmed from mm -hmm. a young age not to express feeling. We made the, um, the example of, you know, a little boy running around the yard and he falls and he cries. And everybody encourages him not to cry, not to express the hurt, not to express the feeling. And we grew up in a society where this is fostered. Yes. So what you find is that we don't really get a chance to express. Yeah. Message board. So we have message board. So Nali saying good night, good night, Snell Nali. Bartholomew. And we have Asia saying that she has an ambitious, intelligent, handsome, sexy, and all rounded man. Oh my Asia, I like, you don't really have a problem with guys, eh? Right, and we have Charlene. <laughs> Hi Charlene. Pick up Charlene Mohammed. Yes, yeah, so Charlene is saying more ego men have right we'll deal with that so it's good we get in somewhere yes. now we have a new feature for all the new members she can tell them the new feature the new feature is that whatsapp button on the page you hit it well click on it though hit. <laughs> <laughs> right and you send us a voice note no longer than one minute this is where you can give a shout out you can you know contribute to the discussion Yes, and you are saying your name, where you're from, <laughs> access phrase, you're watching Real Talk Live. See what we are the same. So Chica J did put the number yeah. in the comment section. So you can just click the number yeah. and you'll go straight to the WhatsApp. Yeah? Well, it wouldn't go straight well, to the WhatsApp. Well, it'll go straight to the, yeah, you like the number you're WhatsApping. That's the number you're WhatsApping. And that's the number on the Facebook page. Now, if you go directly on the Facebook page yes. and then click that WhatsApp button, you're inside. Yeah. We just put it there for anybody who has any technical difficulties. All right. So, we're here in Charlene. So, you could leave a voice note now. And we will play it over the live yes. so everyone could hear your voice mm -hmm. and the comments that come with it. Yeah. So Charlene is saying she has met guys with a big ego. Yeah. Men are egos. I feel we don't understand. <laughs> so you see, we're going to have a section called Ask a Man. <laughs> so anything women only have trouble with concerning me is ask, ask a man to you. Yeah, I and I will be very liar. brutally honest. Huh? 
So the thing is, I will be very honest, it might be something you might like to hear, but you want truth. So I will give you the truth that maybe the guy doesn't really want to give you. And that is a hard vibration. Right, so ladies, prepare yourself. <laughs> that is according to what they ask. So prepare yourself. Big up everybody on the live. This yes. is our Real Talk Extra Limited yes. Edition Dry Extra. Fit. Yeah. Real Talk Live. <laughs> All right, message boards. We have Candy Barbara. She came across a confused type, afraid to commit type, hmm. but ambitious, hardworking, etc. And the broken meaning with issues. What is this now? Eh? Yeah, one has issues. some kind of issue. Yeah. Cool. So the first point, Chica, is where men they uh you know they don't navigate the emotional waters too well. And as Lion just said, you know, it's because of the upbringing. This is society, this is our culture where if a boy falls, don't cry. Mm -hmm. Big boys don't cry. Yes. Or boys don't cry. I see yeah? plenty of man cry, yes. Um, For women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were grown up to be, they grow, you know they say that is guilty. How mm -hmm. you acting like a girl so? Right? Normally if it is a cry, if it is a try to express how they feel, they are laughed at for it. Yes, they true. are bullied for it yes, as well yes, in yes, schools. Yes. If it is a boy he's free to go and play a little marble pitch, that is a problem too. True. Right? He want to align with the fellas, whichever because we know that men they bond in a different way, right? Than females. You know, females we talk, we express ourselves. We that mouth is go running a lot of times. But with men they don't have that emotional connection, really. So number one on the list, ladies, if you are listening, things you need to know about men is that we are emotionally unattached. Yeah. It could be good, it could be bad. Yeah. But we are emotionally unattached. Mm -hmm. Right? So trying to get a guy attached to his or to connect with the feelings it will take you guys time, work, and a very lengthy relationship. Yeah. It yeah. wouldn't happen in a year if you're dealing like a year or two. That is not enough. Yeah. Right? And they will deal with situations differently when it comes to emotional attachment. So you may feel, you know, you may want the guy to just sit down, listen, empathize, sympathize, and he's not feeling that. Right, because he is unable to connect in that manner. He will want to know why so much, why so much feelings. <laughs> a lot of relationships hit this part, this block. Reason being, women tend to think the man, what is said in the argument, because when they have disagreements, women think, tend to say that men do not care. It's not that. It's that we are not attached to certain emotions. So you might come with a story that you are all uh, emotional about yes. and we will come across as if we don't care it's not that we don't care the way we are wired we are wired to make assessments we're not wired to empathize so it's not that the guy or guys or the fellas you're coming across don't care is that that's the way we are wired and when you understand yeah. how the guy is wired then you wouldn't take it personal. Yeah, even if it is he, he is feeling uncomfortable or he is upset about something and you ask him, so what happened? You might hear nothing, but because you know that they don't express with words and use too much of emotions, what you have to do is pay attention to the behavior and you know, work around it and see how it is you can address it. So all the women in the, in, on the live that believe at certain points men don't care, feel free to put it in the comment section. <laughs> or if you come across that scenario, you can send yeah. it to the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, because very often, yeah. very, very often guys behave that way because that's how we are wired. That's how they we were taught as well. And that is how we were brought up. Yeah. Right, so what would happen now is that because they're in a longer-term relationship, 
that is where you might get emotions starting to come mm -hmm. more visible because yeah. of the length of time you guys are together. So one yeah. year and two years don't matter. Yeah? Moving along. Moving along. So, <laughs> next, right, we have... Um, Ladies, quiet boy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so we have some WhatsApp voice notes, man. Yes, we have some WhatsApp voice notes. Lovely. We're gonna go to the WhatsApp section. And I'm section. late on it. Alright, we have some WhatsApp. So as she can line up the WhatsApp to be played, big up Nikki Batiste on the live. And the topic for today is understanding men. We're gonna have a two-minute segment where your ladies could ask anything about why a man does X, and we will be brutally honest. Yeah? In this time and this frame hit the share button okay so i believe um gail you would have sent her um whatsapp unfortunately we are just hearing the live and not your voice <laughs> so you need to you know mute the live yes and then send your voice note Lovely. but we we do have a voice note to listen <laughs> to hi it's abby from england and you're watching real talk live oh God. my question is why do guys pretend to be um interested to a point where when they feel settled or they get what they want probably a month or so they get bored and go elsewhere interesting yeah so yeah so feel free, ladies. You only do what you want. So feel free to, to, to ask <laughs> as the life progress. You did say that. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. And we have the message board as well. So I don't want to. I want to give everybody the words in. We have voice notes and we have Natalie. Yes. So we're gonna do one more voice note and then you'll go to the message board. No problem. Mm -hmm. Do all the voice notes, man. Good night, guys. You're watching Real Talk Live. Um, I think it's because, as I always hear Big Brother saying, right, in time speaking and stuff, yeah, man. he always used to tell him that um, us as men, we are wired differently. Yes. And when you look at it, it is not that, um, it's not that we don't care. It's just that, um, as Big Brother always says, we are wired to make assessments yes. right so we just assess the situation yes. and perhaps give an opinion right and it's because of that sometimes ladies think that you know depending on how it comes across they intend to think that you know what he doesn't care yes true you know but it's not that we don't care we do but we just assess the situation differently and deal with it differently correct is right all right so the miller on the forefront we will go to the message board <laughs> right so we have Nat gail uh, Natalie too. <laughs> yes i believe that sometimes because she felt her husband did not care because he doesn't talk and natalie um she said more culturally groomed than wired because i do believe what you grew up experiencing plays a greater part than dna as you said if a boy falls then he's told not to cry but for a girl, she's hugged and comforted. Yes. And Candy Barbara is saying she loved the question by Abby. So we will touch Abby's question. Abby, we come into It will be brutally honest today. I'm a blunt instrument. So then, prepare yourself. <laughs> yes, um, DNA. When, when we say DNA, I wouldn't say DNA, Natty, because it's like this. I know he's a married woman, so you know, a long term relationship with a guy, whether it be marriage or whatever you're having, there always comes a time when a problem arises. And if the problem, you, you, you come home with the problem and you tell him the problem, you ever notice he will get quiet and say nothing for these. And then the lady would come back home and say, remember we talk about this, but you didn't say yeah. anything. And then you will, he will still say, yes, I heard you. And he will stay quiet again and he wouldn't continue. And yeah. you are looking for a conversation. And he's not, what he is looking for is a solution. Yes. And that will be another point of yeah. men are natural 
problem solvers. I know ladies don't want to hear that, but that is how we were made. Yeah. We're systematic, right? So we, what is happening in a lot of relationships when something comes up and you tell the guy it and the guy come like he unresponsive, like you go and call a girlfriend, you know I tell this man whatever and he just not doing anything and yeah. because what he's doing is trying to find a solution and the reason why he ain't tell you anything is because he hasn't found the solution. Mm -hmm. Moving to Gail's question from England. I mean Abby. Oh, Abby. Abby <laughs> question from England. In this world, we have people with agendas, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And if a guy is coming to you and he realizes everything is easy and you're going to get through, from the moment that guy gets what he wants, and he leaves, you know what his agenda was. I being yeah. blunt, right? Now, uh, there are guys in this world, there are women in this world who do the same thing. But yes. if this is what you have found, in reality, it's just showing you that the guy maybe was just attracted to you in a sexual manner mm -hmm. or for whatever reason. And after yeah. that gratification is made, Remember, you're dealing with somebody who, who is only about solution. Any creature that is about solution, they systematically plan how they're going to get what they want and they have an exit strategy. So I'm being honest, right? He has a plan to get what he wants and then he has an exit strategy. So if between a month or two he gone, it's because he had a reason. He get what he want and now he's exiting yeah. because Women tend to stay in relationships long enough <laughs> right? and go on and on and on. If the guy's main focus with you is either maybe a sexual scenario or whatever it is, once it happens, yeah. he's gone. It's like a hunter. He's hunting is what he's doing. And a hunter hunts to eat. So from the moment he captures the prey, he's gone. Now we say, being blunt, eh? that is the reason why a guy would do that. Now, it, I am not saying it's right, but that is the reason. Month or two and he ready to, to jump out, Yeah, that's it. Right, so we are going to the WhatsApp messages. <laughs> Abby again. Um, I have been in two very long-term relationships, sadly ended. It seems to me like the older I'm, I'm, I'm getting, the shorter the relationship's getting, and hence the reason why I decided to quit. Is it me or is it them? Very interesting. And again, uh, people take note. Use the WhatsApp. Yes, <laughs> yes. You tend to get through a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Candy says she loves the question. Yeah, that was earlier. But yeah. yeah, so we are going to another voice note and then we'll go to the message board because no that's waiting for you to finish. The people on the yeah. show here. Hello, everyone. This is Gail Guyney Svitchik and you're watching Real Talk Live. <laughs> so I attract really nice guy, really nice guys. My husband is a nice guy. We've been married for a long time. But his problem is, is that, that he doesn't express his feelings as he does not Talk. Yes. Ghani's for chick, big up yourself. I'm looking yes. for the um the link. Yeah, you can post your link and then we have the message board. Yes, we have the message board yes. running. Yes, very good. We'll come to Gail in a short. Alright. Short. So, we have Candy Barbara. It's true. You guys are logical thinkers and problem solvers. I realize in talking to guys, you need to only share what you want them to remember or pay attention. They don't need all the extra talk we women do. Well, you women choose to. And this is the conundrum. Because if you are dealing with males and males are the relationship that the female wants to get involved with, because we have same-sex relationships as well. Yeah. And um, it's a male, and, uh, and you need to know. You see the we women talk? That is your problem. Because sometimes the we women is not we in a relationship with. Yeah. 
you've been in a relationship with a male, right? That and you need to come to terms with that. And there are ways to deal with a male, and we will get into how to deal with the male so that you can get what you want right. a little bit. Right. So we have our next. <laughs> Oh Lord, and we on the WhatsApp messaging. Why is it that when it is men want something, right? Shall we say, the not in it for a long run, and they in it for just to get something then. Why is it they don't just come out and say, well, here what, I ain't really looking for no relationship, you know. I'm interested in X, Y, and Z, and let the woman decide. Why is it they have to put women through a whole set of travel business just to get what they want? Because they do have women out there who rather the men be straight up and let them know that they not a no um, they not a no relationship thing or no long term run. Because some there's make women that's put out it all for a relationship and they get nothing in return. Absolutely nothing. So what is your view on that? So you know me. <laughs> I promise to be brutally honest. I promise to be brutally honest. You are dealing with. So, big up Nikki Batis. It was nice this morning, Nikki, you miss out. Right. So, you're dealing with a creature that is systematic, that is a problem solver. Right? If that individual is looking for, let's say, a really normal sex, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see that the guy in question, he knows he doesn't want something substantial or serious, right? Mm -hmm. He knows that. But he wants, he, that is his agenda. And you are a nice, upstanding, self-conscious, self-respected woman. No man is going to tell you that exactly and i was just about to say that because if it is a man knows <laughs> he he will scope you before he even that get there, guy right? if this man is a hunter and i have hunted so i talking from i could tell you all who know me know me easy i wasn't easy natalie know that right <laughs> natalie john natalie johnson right? <laughs> right if the goal is to get x and I know you are a young lady that has standards. And I'm going to tell you that. Now remember I said I'm going to be honest. So when you ask why, I'm telling you why he would do that. Right? So I'm hearing a lot of, you know, relationships that have gone through some issues because you're not understanding the creature that you're dealing with. You understand? <laughs> Right? So to answer the question, Nikki, if I hunt it and I know you have standards, mm -hmm. I am not going to tell you, you know, I really want um, yeah. to have sex and leave by next month. <laughs> if it ain't sucking right. Mm -hmm. Right? It's, it's yes. not going to be like that. Right? Yes. So we have message board. We have, we have WhatsApp, actually. Right. Things nice, yes. man. We flew in. We flow in. Hey guys, you're watching Real Talk Live. Um, this is pretty linked to Abby's question. She asks why it is men, after the period of two to three months, yeah, they, do that. Um, they intend to act interested, and once they get what they want, they just leave. I think it's because, as ladies, right, some ladies intend to lower their, lower their guard, drop their guard too quick right and um you have to set a certain standard for yourself because as men i'll tell you a little secret we have a tendency of assessing situations from the outside and that would determine if we would get through to you or not you know yeah it all depends on the standard you set for yourself all right nice vibes right so abby from england mm -hmm. asked the question of age to me that that is what it was as she gets older, older. yeah so is it, they, you know she or the guys and then um 
she says as she gets older, the relationships are shorter. Shorter. So this would this would involve the circles you're running with and the type of guys and their mentalities. Now, if the circles that uh, a particular female runs with, for instance, well, we locked up now. We come like we locked up, right? So the females that circle the club circuit frequently from Wednesday, Tuesday, the line is Friday, Saturday, right? They, the circles they tend to move with carry a certain mentality, right? So same with the guys. Maybe you need to change your circle because you're looking for something a bit more substantial. Now, that's not promising you that you yeah. will get it, but mm -hmm. the circles of guys that you're in or around, maybe you need to go outside the circle. That is one. Two. Now, well, they ask me to be honest. Men like young girls. And when we say young, we ain't saying baby. We saying that when a young lady is younger or a woman is younger, everything is nicer because we are too known by sight. Now I'm being honest. I'm not saying it right for certain scenarios, but I'm being honest in how a man thinks, right? We are attracted, we are turned on, we get wild by sight. If you pass by a proper construction site lady and you looking good, the whole construction site has something to tell you. The senior, look, man the see woman from, I don't know if we eyes, this guy a like vision. A man can see a well-shaped woman from a field a mile away, you know. Because men just be suiting women from distance, you know. This is the reality. Women, Burn team ladies, that's why you're seeing the ladies keeping their body right on the burn team, you know? Because sadly, men are turned on by what we see. And what happens with women as they tend to get older, or we say younger in age, the focus change. I told Chica that already, around a certain age, women focus change. And what they do, they may focus on career, they may focus on putting more up here. They may focus on expanding maybe the financial status, which is good. Yeah. Which is good. But they neglect this outside here. Mm -hmm. So whereas you would hear a woman focusing on education, focusing on business, at a certain age a woman changes their focus. If they're married, they would focus on family, the children, what's going on, what we have planned for them for the future. So the focus of the woman changes and she neglects the outward appearance. Yeah. Totally to the point where you ladies forgot that the reason why he talked to you in the first place is because of what he saw. And he can't see the inside of you. He can see the outside of you. Yes. Sadly. And are being truthful. Women of a certain age change the focus, which is good. Change the focus to job, education, future, that type of mindset. And they forget that the man. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> this could be a long so. life. <laughs> this one long. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so which point are we going to now? Number two. <laughs> All right. Well, we went on to that men are natural problem solvers leading from yeah, a yeah. question that was yeah. asked, so right? Yeah, so we are natural problem solvers. Yeah. So you all solve any problem of our point form. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I will, I'd like to add to that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we ladies, what we do, we go to the man and we say, hey, you know, so see, you might be expressing whatever it is when told. She can have a story about that. Right. <laughs> no, I would not be given that story, right? Um, oh gosh, <laughs> Candy Barbara says, sorry to say, but some of you guys sight affected. Candy Barbara, I think you may need to ex explain that a little no, bit. Well, I like how right? she jumped out. Yes, I no, can, I can, yeah, yeah, let me continue. She, sight affected. Yes, so let me, <laughs> let me continue before you jump out, because I know oh. when it 
go to handle the situation, you know? So I'm just going to give an example. In my case, right? Personal. I'm trying to lose some body fat, especially that lower, you know, region, that lower <laughs> belly, right? What we we'll call the pucho, you know? You know that little thing down there? And I will go tell her and say, hey, I find this thing, I feel uncomfortable with it to know, and then he'll come up with a solution. But, you know, we just want a little talk, don't worry, we go fix that. And he'll just say, hey, this is, do this, this, that. Yeah, and you'll get the results, right? So sometimes if we go, we expect, you know, some empathy. Some, as we, like yesterday, we talk about the different love languages, yes. words of affirmation. Yes. You want some words of affirmation, but you have to remember that men, they are problem solvers. So the way that they may speak to you may be different from that. You know, how a woman will speak to you concerning any matter. And the problem yeah? is that, ladies, you all have your... Um, your click, that is a problem. You have a what? The clip. Ladies have a click, a clip, a team, whatever, right? <laughs> that is somehow all the issue. The team, the clip, that is all the problem. Because every problem you have is go to them. That is not a man. You expecting a man to react like how a woman will react. The affirmation is, I solved the problem. The yeah. caring is, I took the time to think about it, and now I'm giving you a solution. That is a man caring. Some of you ladies need to be with women, because at the end of the day, you expecting a man to behave like a woman. And every time you have a problem, you go to a female. And the female gives you what she thinks you take. How we how? Yeah. You want clarity it dealing with a man and you're going to talk to a woman about it or your clip or your clip or your squad or your whatever is the case so in the comment section feel free yes. what's up running yeah what's yes i know you're going to candy Barbara. yeah touching candy a little bit <laughs> miss barbara <laughs> now if you're saying sorry guys have a side problem a guy would like what he likes. Mm -hmm. Some guys like girls a little on the thick side. Some guys like girls slim. Some girls like a nice shape. Some girls like fair skin. Some guys like dark skin. So if the guy may be seeing something and he is making an advance, he like it. Yeah. So I ain't know if you're bashing women there with sorry to say, but some of you guys sight affected. A man must be turned on by sight. So, what you believe in your mind? So you're going right back to the same thing. Yeah. What you believe a man should be seeing, that ain't your business. You understand? If the man decides to see something he likes, whether it be tall, big, short, small, wrong, flat, whatever, he is seeing something he is turned on to. Yeah. You and don't we have know that young. each guy, some guys are turned on, as I just said, they might like yeah. the full figure. Yeah, you some don't have guys the, um, might like the. You don't have Ralph, the authority to tell a man what he said, he's something wrong with his sight. He will, he will ad make advances to a type of woman he's attracted to. Mm -hmm. Same thing with a woman. Some women like broad shoulders, men. Some women like men chisel out. Some men like with a little meat on the bone. Some like them tall. Some, some like, like them, them short. short. So uh, uh, the sight is in the, in the eye of the beholder. Yes. Check yourself before we get more warm. <laughs> we we'll hot tonight. Mm. Yes. And you all know that lion was set. A set and long time. Beaten, especially. <laughs> right, so alright, so we have Candy Barber, woman <laughs> looking good, smelling good. Most things in that, but you running down a woman who not taking care of themselves. That is his choice. Mm -hmm. That's like a biased statement. Yeah, that real Because biased. I mean <laughs> the man he may have been paying attention to whichever woman it is all the time. And there must be in order for him to run down. Wait, right? if I run in behind you. Yeah. You must see something that hey, when you run behind somebody, I ain't, we are running behind a foe. So they are seeing what it is they are attracted to and will go behind that. Just like women, they see a man that they are attracted to, they go. We, and we know that women are actually no more aggressive than. Some women like bald head, clean yeah. cut. Mm -hmm. Some women like a little hair on the chest. Mm -hmm. Some girls like the sideburn. Yeah. Yeah. 
some guilt, you know, so yeah, everybody's different. So it's just like some man might say, So, um, so she is seeing, mm -hmm. you know, they'll be like, Well, so, um, all the woman's side bad, too. So it could go, it could be yeah. vice versa. So I wouldn't say that, um, decide off, decide off all women, certain and women, how, and how do you determine? women who you know not taking care of themselves so it's to say a woman look good or not like we don't what have the measuring look? stick you know yeah yeah if, so, the, mm -hmm. if the guy is interested that's his choice if yeah. the woman is interested that's her choice everybody has their type point number Therefore. three <laughs> yeah so we can't right <laughs> actually we didn't go to the point that is actually number two on the board point number two Right? So men are competitive. Oh, yeah. And need to feel like winners. No. The competition is mm. what women need to understand. Mm. So in the comment section right now, we have our WhatsApp messaging scenario running. Yes. Feel free to touch that. Yes. And leave your WhatsApp voice note. Mm -hmm. Messages, mm -hmm. access phrase, I am whoever I am, and you are watching Real Talk Live. And with this here, I realize that ladies really like to do their own thing. Here's why, right? <laughs> and this is the only male that has been sending his messages. He did say his name, and every time he sends his <laughs> WhatsApp, he says, it's Andy, you're watching Real Talk Live. And the ladies, they might just say, you're watching Real Talk Live, or if it is already sent in their message, and they come back on, they don't even say you're watching Real Talk Live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so message board, we have Natalie I saying. Glad you see your they just do what they want. <laughs> yeah, um, so. They got everybody saying, like, where's love and it'll be. Oh, you know. attraction goes beyond look as well. Some people are attracted by an attitude. No, good, eh? Some people as women are. You see, we, this is the platform we're using to kind of bridge the gap. This is a nice topic. And we need to understand what you know, I'm telling you. I am mama. You can't tell me how man must feel. <laughs> right? You know, I'm telling you. You could have all the sexy attitude in the world, and my sight is attracted to you. I don't want nothing to do with you. You're talking from a woman's perspective. Yeah. And in truth and in fact, when we were speaking about you know, um, sexual desire and all these different topics that leads to, will yeah. be part of attraction. Um, you might see somebody smile, they may not know their attitude per yeah. se, yeah. but they smile and it's just like they smile. Yeah. They may not be what somebody might say, oh, that is a real best looker, right? Some people have a nice smile and the smile is what attracts you. Yes. So something their eyes, is something is, is always the Males are, listen to me ladies, and I'm telling you it again. It have no vi vibration and energy comes after you get to talk to the person and hear what they say and how they speak, you know, what they believe in. That is, that is a different yeah. scene that I'm talking about. When you know me You're somebody, walking, let us say, you're walking down the road. You guys have to and see something. See, that is what we're talking about. As if, I if say, if it is a person who yeah. a mile away from a distance and a hearing, a man shooting. Am I telling you? You could have all the sass in the world walking with attitude and all kind of thing and use 300 pounds. Unless I like 300 pounds. I'm not looking at you. Your attitude has nothing to do with me. I, this is a man talking. So when women want to ask why this man went so, or why this man do that, or why this man do this, come like we married and you was a, a Coca-Cola. Yes, sir. And as we married, he is a buster. Hmm. <laughs> You're like this. Hmm. All right, so we'll be going to the WhatsApp messages <laughs> on that note. Hey, guys, you're watching Real Talk Live. Um, I'm definitely sure that it's going to go down the road um, whereby they're bathing and smelling good and we we looking to run down somebody else. I think everything that we men do is by choice and actions, mm -hmm. right? We, everything we do is by choice. So that's a choice. We can see, we might see the most beautiful woman, woman in front of us, well put together, 
And if we see something else pass and we say, mm-hmm. Yes. We made that choice, we go on yes. with that. Yes. Everything we do is by choice. Yes. Yes. That's how we that is how we were built. Right? We were built to react by sight and choice. So ladies yes. are hearing from guys. Yes. Stop talking to your girlfriend on the phone. She knows nothing about men. <laughs> I don't care if you have a therapist with a PhD. It's a woman, she ain't nothing. <laughs> Talk to a guy about guy stuff. And and you make a really good point there in terms of you could have a what you, you know one will consider a, a beautiful. A woman might see a very let me say a Wendy Fitzwilliam or something looking, you know, so mm -hmm. and it's like, why he going so? Or some ladies say, he have a nice wife, why he gone so? Yeah. Because it's something he see that he want. Going back to the point, we are competitive. Competitive, yes. So the guys who like competition, we don't like competition much with guys. You know? The competition is, you see that girl over there? <laughs> so it leads to Abby. Abby, sometimes it's a competition. Sometimes it have girls back in with days in school when we had the guys wrong table. It had girls who used to be hard to get. Mm. We used to call them hard to get. And now people, women, just be saying that playing hard to get. You know, hard to get. That is trouble. Yeah. That sparks the competition. That sparks. Oh, but what I would do, boy? Hmm. Let me see what to do, boy. Oh, God, I could do this, I could do that. That is the competition. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to the WhatsApp. Then, well, let's read the message from on the message board. Abby is saying she needs to get some guy friends well, instead team of women. We are team guys here, man. Hey guys, you're watching Real Talk Live. Um, I think it's because you know what, ladies have a tendency of saying, you know. I'll keep myself in shape. I must catch him. And as you know, after a few years, and we finally pop the question, and we decide, all right, we tied the knot. You know, they they yeah, seem to lose track of, you know, the way we met them before and stuff like that, and how we met them. You know, that's ladies. Ladies need to to take that into consideration at times. Is that they create their own problems, uh -huh. right? And when you create a problem, again, as men, if you don't create a problem, we wouldn't have a problem to solve, mm -hmm. right? So 95% of the time, ladies create their own problems. Straight out. Big up yourself, Andy. So you're hearing guys, Abby, you're hearing guys, feel free, ladies, to ask us anything. This might be the only time you're going to get us to bring out some of the secrets out of the closet. And after that, well, we go back into the air. Uh, the quiet room, yeah? So, as Andy was saying, women tend to create their own problems. Because if the person that you, you want to spend time with is really turned on by sight, then you need to keep yourself in order. Guys, too. Women are more in-depth. They like intelligence, certain things, and, and you know, certain other things kind of with women. Intelligence, maybe good vibes, energy, a caring person, that kind of thing. Ladies, that is why guys do what they do. Because if we meet you all a particular way, mm. and ladies get themselves comfortable, because they think, aha, I get it, man. I get true. I get true. That's my own. You know what I like to say, that's my man? It's not your man. You're renting. <laughs> they don't understand this. Right? Now we're being honest. So, I be you could say a man tell you, you rent him, it is yours. It is yours because then when you get him, you have to keep him. Getting a man is not the problem, I realize, but ladies, you know. Yes, keeping. Keeping a man is the problem. And then they think, well, he's the problem, so I move on to our next man. That is the problem. Stop treating men like how, stop looking for a woman in a man. Yeah. And so the next part of that with men are competitive and men need to feel like winners. I mean, you don't want that it come as a trophy and when it's done, you're all rusty and dusty. All right, so you want to... Like that rusty and dusty. <laughs> you want the man to always feel like he's a winner and if it is, you really keep up, you know, whether it's the look, 
the behavior, your attitude, okay. you want to remain as, you know, as like really a trophy. You know how it had this song, walking trophy? But it can be a right. walking trophy if you're looking good. Right? <laughs> no, some people, that's where they start. They may yeah. start off as a walking trophy. And, and, and they're just... Rusty and dusty. Yeah. <laughs> rusty and dusty. And yes, some, some men may say, okay, nothing wrong in a woman be. But you see when they're trying to be too hard to get? Oh, um, sometimes yeah, you make it seem as, okay, here yeah, it didn't work. It, it wasn't like no big thing. The man may not feel like he actually won you. So you have to be careful. So even though men may not express their emotions, you need to still give some words of affirmation, you know, yeah. to the man. Let him feel like he's a winner. Let him feel that, you know, he's still, oh, well, he is handsome. Although he is, mm -hmm. right? I don't want this song wrong. That's okay. not what I mean, right? <laughs> right? What I'm saying is the things that you do to get him, right. do it to keep him. That is what... So getting a man is not the issue, ladies. Yeah. Keeping. Keeping. A man is the issue. So we're going to go to the WhatsApp messaging. Right. So we have... <laughs> It will always be in England, eh? Yes, Abby. and it's, it's Abby again from England, and you're watching <laughs> Real Talk she Live. Me. Miss Chickity, I don't want it to tell me off. <laughs> right, I understand that guys like what they see. Yes. They like their little hourglass and the hair and the nails and whatnot. But um, mm. they know that we work hard to look how we look, to have, you know, to get what we have and whatever, but they seem not to care. Right. But I know it have some women that do have the body, that do have the look and everything. Not sure about the attitude or the right. inside, right. but they still seems to stray. I don't get it. All right. <laughs> so that will lead to another point on the board. Papa, you. Men don't need a perfect ten, <laughs> right? So yes, they have the look, they have the nails, the Oof. you know, like a model now. But then when they actually get to know the person, so let us say it's a man who is. I'm just you know trying. I'm listening. There. I'm listening. Yes, I'm, I'm there. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a man who actually wants to have a relationship. He's just not coming in, get what he wants and leaves. Right. This is somebody who comes in to stay. Right. right? And you're looking good all the time. You're hitting the gym, you're doing a workout, you're looking top. You're checking burnt thing for the meal plans. Yeah. <laughs> and the workouts. Yeah. Yeah? And then your attitude off. Every time something is a problem. Right, and you're not on the so this forum is important because yes. we need to understand our men. If it is we don't understand our men, we would not be able to keep them, right? And they realize, okay, this person, the attitude is off. And listen, women do abuse men too. It may not be physical, but it may be emotional. Yeah. So um. So hence, they will stray. They will find somebody who is taking care of them. Emotion. They may not. They wouldn't express their emotions, but they will need someone to ex. You know, care for their emotions, care for their well-being. You might decide they're looking good, but they can't cook, or you're not cooking. Mm. You're not even providing a meal. Mm. You're not making. You know, they say if it is a man, he provide. You know, the woman mm. who makes it the home. If it's not feeling homely, he will leave. Because if it is, that's what he's looking for. He's not going to stay. Looks not going to keep him there. Moving, eloquent. So let a man tell her there is a scene. Yeah, let a man. That was just a woman's Ooh. perspective. <laughs> this is I realize. Look. We have an ex voice note, yes? Run the voice note, let it happen. Yes, we have an ex voice note. Let and ladies, happen. I'm here, man. This is Nikki, and you are watching Real Talk Live. And we mentioned that men make their choices based on sight. No. Why it is that when it is a man is with a woman, it's well some, and they have a Coca-Cola shaped woman, according to what he said, and they leave the woman and go with a Basta. Right. Well, some of them have a Basta and they go with a Coca-Cola. Right. So why all of a sudden some of their sides change? Right. I don't know. 
I don't understand that. Please explain. I'll talk shit. <laughs> I will take the touch. How long does life have? <laughs> <laughs> Longer than planned. Right. Which one to touch first? We have Abby. Yes, we have Abby. And Abby was um, talking about... What was Abby's vibration? Abby so, was... Um, Abby's vibration now, your excuses. Yes, Abby's vibration. You know, we take it at the end. Yeah. Know? Right, so she's talking about what guys, you know, they like, you know, they look. But why? So it's come like the same person. Yeah. Like the two voices, not the same thing. Mm hmm. Well, they were the truth, though. <laughs> One, I would always say that men are. This would help you all a lot. I've said it a hundred million times. I don't think women listen when I say this. A man, every man, tall man, short man, big man, small man, is a walking, talking, living, breathing ego. The reason why he with the buster and not the Coca-Cola, and he had the Coca-Cola before, is because the buster stroking the ego more than Coca-Cola. You ask for the truth, I tell him, yeah. It's that simple. You see, you ladies looking for some complex. It is nothing, a man is not a complex thing. Right? We are not complex. You all are complex. We are not. A male is a walking, talking, living, breathing ego. Wherever he is, that person is stroking his ego more than you. Now, this is the problem we will have now. Scarcity. As I always make mention with my boys, there are too many untended women in this world. And it's the reality of it that men are scarce. And anytime something becomes scarce, there's competition. It would have been nice that when we look to the, the, the biblical sense, one man to one woman would have sung nice, but in China alone is 20 to one, excluding the Spanish. So when you have a commodity that is scarce, half are we in jail. One sixteenth of us like same sex. The others kind of like on the block. And then you look some dead. And some dead. And when you look at the amount of males present on this, let me say our country, let me talk about England, millions, right? And in our country alone, good meals. We're talking healthy meals, good looking. You see how scarce that number started getting. Think about this. <laughs> Think about scarcity. The commodity that is scarce have more options. One guy, one guy, whether he be good looking, tall, short, he has about 10 women that vine for his attention. They're just an average guy. If you have a guy who is good looking, in the sense of ladies, I say, who is good looking, I don't know. A guy who is well built, let me say sexy. A guy who has a good job, ambitious. Anytime that one male has those attributes added on to what he has, the amount of women vying for his attention expands exponentially. So whereas before, women asking guys to settle, but a commodity that is scarce, that has so many options, so many things to choose from, so many different avenues, that come like you going in a store and somebody write you a blank check and say, look, buy what you want. Are you going to pick up two items? <laughs> Tell me a woman now, we write a blank check for you now and say, hey, go shop, you could only shop in this store. You might be a blank check. You will take everything in the store because now you have more options. Now I ain't saying it right what is going on. I'm not saying that the women do have yeah. valid points. But when you're looking at society, you need to understand scarcity. If money gets it, money scarce now. Think about that guy who have some money now. Just right in COVID-19. He ain't good looking at it. He get real good looking at it. A guy who have a little dollar per side, no. He is very good looking in COVID. 
right? Because the scarcity yeah. of the, the item, being males, we lock up. Who dead? Who in jail? Who likes same sex? And then you add attributes like ambitious, productive, yeah. loving. Okay, are you and all these things you add in onto a man, good looking. You know what we know? His reach of women. You, <laughs> you understand yeah. that? Yeah. So ladies, I'm sorry to say, it have a lot of, whether you're married or not, it don't matter, you know. So people think they're safe in their marriage, you know. It don't matter, <laughs> right? Whether you want to like it or believe it, I'm being very honest. Yeah. One man have 10 women vying for your attention. The better that man get, whether it be money, job, good looking, ambitious, loving, keep, and women will see that it will have more women vying for his attention. That is how the world is. Right, so we are going, we are going to what? the WhatsApp messages uh, yeah, now. Yeah, them girls go get vexed. Hi guys, you're watching me talk live. Um, to somewhat of connect with the question that was asked before, right? I think it has to be, go along the line of connection, right? Because if you don't connect with a guy at the end of the day, but a man, I should say, if you don't connect with a man as a female, you can be looking how well, you can be well put together, nails done, hair done, the best boobs, every single thing from top to, from head to toe, and you don't connect with us, it's obviously we are just going to get what we have to get and roll out right it's yeah. all in connection right if you don't connect with us there's no way we can, there's no way that we as men are going to stay so you must be able to connect with us yeah all right so we have another voice message and the voice well. message coming in big up and here we're watching real talk live <laughs> right this thing about competition i don't get it because for us to keep a man, we have to try hard Relax. because we know they may have other women out there they lurking and looking. But when guys looking at the female, when they're with someone, the guy now tends to have an attitude. And, you know, that could be one of the reasons why a relationship fails. It's, it's okay if a girl try to compete with you for your man. But when a man is competing for another man, woman, woman's, <laughs> the men get all rolled up and angry. Yeah. What's that about? Come on, man. That's testosterone, man. <laughs> you ever see men play sports? <laughs> Go watch fellas play football or basketball on a court or something. Hey, that is us. We have to get wild up. It's testosterone and yeah, that's the vibe. It's part of why we live. So in reality, <laughs> the sad thing about society now, have I ever said before, that no, a good guy has a very hard time in this society being good. Because women just get aggressive to her. Right? It have women. You might tell them, girl, you know. I'm married, you know, ting, 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 you're nice, but... And uh, speaking to some of my friends who are married males, and you know, they come to me with some of the, the issues and I, I kind of laugh at them. Because I always say, they will always have one with slip through the crack. I am a, I am a realist, right? You, 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 if a hundred women proposition, one gonna slip through the crack. And we, we tend to live in a fairy tale, kind of will even when we dieting i still check uh, prepare to fail so that you know you know don't set up yourself right it is hard for women now it it is hard but good women as we say queens and we, chica was talking the other day <laughs> and we talk about kings and queens right it's a queen if you are a queen, so people just call themselves queen, but what warrants you to call yourself a queen? It's easy to say hard to do. You know what I mean? So, 
if you understand that the creature likes competition, see, like to, you know, sight, and all Caribbean women, all women uh, look nice. I mean, I don't think it have a woman that never had a boyfriend on this life from since they born or, uh, or no. Or somebody that is attracted to, to them. them. Because it could be a matter of yeah. choice that not in a relationship. Right, it could be a matter of choice. But the problem we're seeing is keeping. Yeah, and that's So if we focus in on keeping him, knowing that it, there are so many options, it is hard. It's hard work. Yeah. I just being real because it's hard work to keep a good man. Because when you pass by a nice mango tree full of mango and you smell in that mango, you like mango. Yeah? A Julie mango tree or a nice tree that bears a lot of fruits. Any guy that bears a lot of fruits, a lot of people will try to, to reap the fruits. You can't stop that. But if you understand that the guy is an ego and all you have to do is once that guy knows when he with you, he's a king, he cannot go no way. And let me tell you something. I ain't saying he mightn't step out and do a thing on the side. Eh? No, we being blunt, yeah? Yeah. Right? We being blunt. But what I'm seeing, I have some friends who are married and they, they step out one or two times. But they will never divorce their wife. I know guys who with the girlfriend and they do a thing, but they're not leaving her. So my point is, women, we need to come to the realization that at some point in time, that man going to slip through the crack. What you ought to ask yourself is if he coming back home. Now, it mightn't sound right, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it might, because yeah. women like to live in this kind of unicorn, white picket fence scenario. No. With Abby and her question, like, you know, the end of the question in terms of, okay, so, yes, men, we know that the ratio to man to woman, plenty women. Plenty women. I only right? understand so the ratio the yet. One, it's then. one man, as Lion said, 20 women. Mm -hmm. Right? And the thing, Abby, what Abby also asks is, okay, well, okay, cool. We understand that. But when it is, a guy is competing now for that woman. So she is a woman in this case, but it have mm -hmm. men out there competing. Well, that every day. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does it become a problem? Just the testosterone Just one. Just the testosterone. And two, we are territorial creatures. I ain't saying it right, but you ask yeah. why I tell any why. As a man I tell any why. So you see that is the yeah. reality. You ask a guy, we territorial. We bold face. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Abby, yes, yes. Right? All right. Yeah. Uh, but as I said, you know, that is why that is what we're territorial, we full yeah. of testosterone, we like competition, I don't want their wrong goods, and I'm still hunting on the outside. And that's what people don't understand. It is right. Now, I tell you this, you know, if you go and ask your boyfriend, don't say lie and say it. <laughs> <laughs> because he going and say, those are he. <laughs> and <Yeah>. you know, because <laughs> he got a massage again. Yeah. But that is the reason why. Alright, so we're going to WhatsApp. Well, they tell me now when we're born, you know, well, let's send all your questions. I think it's, it's um, because of men being turned on by sight, right? You shouldn't get upset with us looking at another woman. I think it's because um, you all might it as a disrespect but truth and in fact it's it's not it's maybe really just to give you all a wake up call because again we are turned on by sight and at the end of the day if you once if you were the type to keep yourself looking up to pawn stuff like that there would be no reason for us to look elsewhere right again we activated by sight right so at the end of the day if you had something that would keep us as men glued to you and it begins to dwindle obviously we're gonna look somewhere else yeah pick up on the miller man yes boredom is a thing that grips men quickly because um any creature that is, is sight stimulated we need 
to see all the time. You know, we start so we could get bored quickly. Yeah, that's how it go. Moving along to the points. All right. This is a long one, Olivia. We go. We, we moving quickly, <laughs> amicably, expeditiously. <laughs> okay, so men. <laughs> Let Let's try to figure out, you know, where, where we are. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. you know, gathering the bearings. All right. So. Real talk, extra dry fit, <laughs> limited edition, inbox burn team. If you guys, ladies, need to have one, touch it. All right. So, men and anti commitment. Oh, yes. So, yes, men can commit. There are men who do commit. And, Lion, what's that? Commit to a point. Commit to a point. Yeah. All right. Lion is saying commit to a point. So, Lion, you go ahead and. With what? But the men aren't anti commitment. Men are anti commitment. Even you realize there is one thing women know about men is that they're anti commitment. <laughs> yeah. So, you're saying that they anti. We are yeah. anti commitment. I mean, I think every lady has come across men now. I mean, in their lifetime, and mm -hmm. only do like to commit. It's true. No, but what it's saying is it have men who do like to commit. There's a few. So you're saying the majority of men. What do you think? I mean, the lady's saying it, you know. I mean, I but, just think no, it from... No, but it must a... have a, you know, a reason why it says they don't well, want, want to commit. want to know the comment. reason. No, I don't want to know the reason. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, the point is that men she want to can So she don't comment. want to know no, why no, men No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> right? There are men who do commit. And they commit under certain grounds. And then there are grounds where they may not commit. So now you can speak about why. Men don't commit fully. Hmm. I don't care if you're married, I don't care if you tell your wife, whatever. Men don't commit fully. Okay, so why don't men commit fully? Candy Barbara is asking. We're going to look at question or not. <laughs> we, we know why I do. Remember, we have a lot of social upbringing. Our belief system is tied to a religious system. So the commitment, the getting married, the look at other nations of the let's take let's jump out of Caribbean and, and the Caribbean and talk about Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, parts of Africa. We in reality because we carry the seed. <laughs> it's sad, eh? We wired to populate. Eh? Right, but that doesn't mean not committing. Population, populating have nothing to do with committing. That is why you would see in the older style of living, men had three, four wives, five concubines, I was accepted in certain countries and nationalities. It is the Pentecostal and the Christian faith that brought up the Caribbean, as we know. So most of us, if we are not Hindu or anything else, were brought up in that faith. And the faith is what changed your belief about what life is supposed to be. Sadly, right? A man marrying and committing. Now, we have guys who say that they never stepped out on their wife, whereas the case. But I could beg to differ because once you think about it, you have already done it. The after effect, that is after. You might go full circle. You have already romanticized about it and then say, boy, now nah, I'm right, let me behave myself. That is okay. But you could never keep that thought out of your mind. And some guys now, now think about this. The thought measured with Scarcity, measured with and being turned on my side, leads to what? Only if the guy has a reason to stay, as you say, the relationship is built more upon love, maybe caring, building a, something together. You all have a reason to, to stay in it. It is not just about a see, a like, or a see. You have to make your relationship more than what you think it should be. Building something together, starting a project together, doing things that would keep the man. And when we say keep, we mean everything is sex, you know. It must have things doing in the relationship 
children only last a certain amount of time and keep in our man. Man does walk out and leave and go. Right? It has to have reasons other than what it started with to make sure he stays. And I think that is, if we focus on how do we bring the relationship to a place where we stay in because we're building, we're growing, we're doing stuff, we, we ha it's more than just. Yeah. And then even if the thought comes, even if another female comes or all the wherever comes, he, even if he might make a mistake or not, he will still say, nah, this worth more. The worth of your relationship to the man will determine if he's staying with you. So you're going to the WhatsApp now? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. You're watching Real Talk Live. I think, as, I think women compete more for men than men compete for women. And even though if we do compete, more than likely the woman that we're competing for she has already compete she was already competing before yeah. before we started yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so more or less is women compete for men more than we compete for them you know and once they get us they say you know how long i compete in view mm -hmm. that's one of the things that they always come out and tell us before oh. so it's more or less it's not really us competing for them but them competing for us and in reality is true because you make one tackle, two tackle, and she really come at you, you're gone. Ne one to the next one. Th that's true. We don't we ain't sticking. We're not going and stay six months coming at you and you blanking us. Time you start to blank once, blank twice, on to the next one. Blank once, blank twice, on to the next one. We're not gonna stay five, six, seven, eight months coming behind you. That is true. We will give leeway to who give leeway to us. Think about a guy tackling you. Baby, you're finally looking nice. You know? Boy, one from here. Baby, you're finally looking. That is it. He going on next game. Baby, you're finally looking nice. He not going to stay six months and he not getting no current. Current. Once current is there, he there. Hmm. We are going <laughs> on to the next voice. Now. Hello. Chica smile. I'll be here. You're watching Real Talk Live. I'm here. Now, I want to understand this, right? This In my head, yeah. in my late teens, early 20s, now, I used to dance, right? right? And um, I was with, a, I had a long relationship with a guy who had a normal job, right. things going good, whatever. And, um, you know, one of the reasons why our relationship failed is because due to my dancing, that's one, traveling all over England, dancing and whatnot, that was a problem. Right. And even though the money was coming in, he was looking good, I doing my thing, cooking, cleaning, everything. I mean, I don't know how bored he could get, but he did, right. if that is the case. But he went for another person, not of my culture, and um, someone who can't cook and can't clean and depends on takeaways and stuff. And he left you know for that right. so it's a bit confusing that you guys is just pick something up and drop yeah. it and pick something trashy and drop it yeah. it's too much man <laughs> big up Abby from england and we're trying to we're feeling the vibration abby we're feeling the vibration another whatsapp comes in way mm, yeah. this is nikki and you're watching real talk live <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> sometimes it is that uh, when it is um men with a woman and you know they're seeing everything that they want or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. and something they message jump to another woman mm -hmm. but there are times where it is that woman with a man and they're seeing everything they want to know but in terms of the attitude the behavior sometimes even so the physical side you know they might make the man he nice slim sexy hair packs and everything nice body everything he keeps himself in an order and um, after a while he stopped taking care of himself also right, right. but the woman don't go to and jump to the next man because you know the sight off right. yes miss Patisse. <laughs> well i wouldn't say all women are gonna jump yeah that is yeah. a broad statement not all would 
maybe a good woman wouldn't jump, but ladies just roll out quick too, eh? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, Abby's question. So when you say a woman of not your culture, is it she's Caucasian? Right? Oh, or a maybe. woman a different of a different ethnic persuasion? Yeah, and then it could be culty. Culture in terms of the way of life, what okay. they do, because she would have been dancing. So, Abby, you could tell us if the culture of the person we may be is it a person of a different race? As you well. could put it in the comment section, yeah, right. And again, Abby, you had to check your circles, right? We talk about circles, you had to check, as we just say in Trini, what pond you're fishing in. If you're fishing in a pond where it has a certain type of guy, that, that is basically... So maybe you need to kind of... So I know that. I, you want to know how I know she white? <laughs> I could have known that girl was white. Here's the problem. We have it here in general. We have been conditioned not to love ourselves and our color. Right? Guys tend to always look for a lighter skin looking girl because they think the lighter skin is beauty and pretty. And it has a prestige towards it. Some of the, our, our African athletes, as soon as they reach millionaire status, is a white girl or a Spanish or a European, or, because we we're programmed not to love ourselves. So that guy, even though you were doing everything right, uh, open, right, that you did everything right, remember, it's how he's wired up here. Once you control the mind, you control the person, right? And some guys think that having a white girlfriend is a prestigious thing. Having a, in Trini, red skin, and now like Spanish is a trend now, right? So guys looking for fair skin girls, you know, because they thinking that it's a more prestigious look walking next to them. Chica talk about trophy. Society has kind of brainwashed us when coming to what is beautiful, what is pretty, yeah. what is a prestigious woman. And the, in, and the sad thing about it is I have seen that in, in, I mean, we have partners, eh? we have a, 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 red, a red girl. Mm. I'm by Ras boy. <laughs> because I have been around the world, <laughs> you know what I mean, in that sense. And I could, I tell you personally from experience, when my girlfriends at the time were red skin or fear, the echo, mm. oh God boy. The, eh, eh. I am telling you, I ain't asking you. If, if the person was African, she had to be real sexy. That is reality. So, to deal with that, be, remember us guys and us as a people were led to believe a certain way. And guys and all with the color, they have a prestige kind of thinking and people. And you know what? Because you don't value you, the girlfriend or the woman next to you, if she could be a little higher up, that bringing value to you. That is to tell you how much we do like myself. You will quicker go with somebody who the world think because of the skin, the color, or the yeah. religion, or the, the race. Yeah. Better. So we feeling, you know, watch our guy properly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's our social programming. Yeah. So we're going to the WhatsApp. And she can like this WhatsApp yeah, thing. watching real talk live. Um, on the issue of commitment, I think it has to it has to come down with the with with your values and the way you were actually raised, right? Um, commitment is what is what would get you through most of the things in life. Without commitment, you can never look forward to a serious relationship or achieving anything, right? In order to achieve those things, you must be committed, and it doesn't it doesn't come by speaking. It comes by action, and it comes by uh, mindset. That's just my point. Good vibes. 
Yes? And we really can't control other people. Yeah. Your values, my values might differ, but my values have no apparent effect on the other person. You know, so in the end, again, is how much we value okay. the relationship, whether it be with whoever, whatever the vibration is. And Nikki, as I said before, I tell you how to bring that man anytime, if, anytime I pick up that man, you had to weigh and measure him. Because in reality, it's how much the persons, male and female, or male or whatever relationship they're in, how much they value staying in that relationship is going to determine how far that relationship goes. And when you understand that a man, the, it to get in the door, you have to be turned on by side. So it, women get in the door, you know. It's yeah. not like if women not getting in yeah. the door. The problem is keeping. Staying inside. Staying inside. They're getting in the door, but you end up getting pushed out. Yeah? So maybe in the next life we could do what ladies can do or women can do to keep a man. How to keep <laughs> How to keep a man. Yeah. And let guys tell you how to keep we. No, I ain't giving you know, all the secrets because then the Hunters Association will call me and say, Ras, don't get them all the intel. <laughs> right? So, all who want, what do you think about that? How to keep a man. How to keep a man. Or they put some hearts or voice note or whatever is the case. And we will kind of, I think this is something. Ooh. Yeah. I think this is something that uh, you know sparks a nice little convo. Yeah, how to keep a man and hear from our guys what you could do. Yeah. Okay. Little tricks, you know, that's some little tricks. I can't tell all you all the tricks. Because remember, I'm still on the board of the Hunters Association. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So not? This is Nikki and you're watching Real Talk Life. I remember one time I was in a relationship and it was a scenario that takes place where it is that um, okay. it was a man, well, me and Pat was working and this man just stood and, you know, he just was staring at me. Mm -hmm. And he started to react like, you know, we watch my woman for a while, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of way. But yet they don't cherish their woman, which they know, you know, right. reel up and get on for. They don't cherish them. You have to look for more women on the outside, but they don't want nobody watching their woman. So, and in terms of composition, why is that? Hmm. Is that nice? This is no. interesting. That's not like a whole lot of problem. Because you'll remember the, can't remember exactly which live that was. And I was saying that if an next man maybe tackling or, you know, try to make a pass at a woman, you feel good, you don't get vexed with the woman because I you supposed that's supposed to what you say? Touch the ego. No, the feeling no, remember, good they have something nice next. Remember my vibe. So if I'm a man, I will answer why he would do that. Mm. He insecure. See, yeah, so it's good to, you see how yeah. short we do it? It's done. Look, we do, look. You see, that's the difference. I was going to talk whole lot. Yeah, so you see, Chica would have given you a whole four page. Yeah. I could give you it short in righteousness. Yes. The man. Insecure. The man. Insecure. And the talk done. All you need to have some males around you, ladies, or they feel free. <laughs> we will help, we will go fix this problem. Right, and yes, I think Tero, big up Tero, boy. So, Tell the people, Tero, use the WhatsApp button and he, let the people know how the aerobics was today, this morning. Yeah. And Tero is agreeing with how to keep a man. All of a sudden, Tero reach yeah. how to keep a man. No, because it, is that good? it, it <laughs> yes. will be good for the ladies to know. Yeah. Right, because we're trying again is mental fitness, emotional fitness. Yeah. So it's good to let out some of the secrets again. I am on the board of the Hunters Association. So I can't give all the, the deep ones, but I can give all the some shallow ones that will help in the whole coming together and keeping that guy. We want to keep our relationships strong, man. Don't let no venny come at it. 
We are going to the um, WhatsApp. Anybody get home from a very as yet on the line with taxi? <laughs> we are going to the WhatsApp. Hey guys, you're watching Real Talk Live. Um, yes, I agree with that topic. And also, um, what are the red what are the red flags to look for in a relationship so in terms of abuse and stuff? I think that's a perfect two good topics to go with. Right. So, we, right. It, so yeah. maybe we could um. It will be in compost in the in in the talk. But how so to keep the man? How to keep the man and um, along with red flag? Yeah, we could try red flag. <laughs> Yeah, red flag. I could get one red flag, you know. You see, women, you see how a woman process this? And how about a guy? Okay. With a guy, you know, simple, it's simple with the red flag, and I can get one, two, three, it's done. Red flags, we don't talk about that. <laughs> you understand? Know but to sure. keep, I think, to keep, keep, this is the problem we're seeing, and we need to show on how to address that. So. For the next we'll talk extra people and deal you need to have this extra and the limited edition extra real talk jive fit straight out i like the female one on this side yes <laughs> right so the next we'll talk extra should be tomorrow yeah. we'll be doing how to keep a man You see? <laughs> now yes. we have um, Nikki yes. saying what men want. Yes. Next topic. So that will really deal with how to keep the man. Because you'll know <laughs> what the man wants in order to keep him. Yeah? You see, Tero talk about Veni Ogadoi. <laughs> we remember side fellas. I remember um, coming to work in a vehicle and um, a lady jumping. And she was very disgruntled about the, the Venezuelan scenario in China. And she was saying that, you know, they come to take our men. So I am asking the woman, can anybody walk in your house and pick up your child and take up your child and go to the child? No. no. Why? Because I ain't gonna let them take my child. I said, look at it. <laughs> our Trini women. Now, this is uh, something I have observed. No. Some Trini women. Some Trini women have observed. Listen to this. What you see and believe that what you project into the universe, it is a seed you're sowing. And being honest, now Chica is a woman you could tell me, you could represent Caribbean women. I have heard a lot of my Trini women say, I don't need a man. Yeah, let's say that. So you're saying you need a man and then you're asking what a man need. Understand what I'm saying? Oh, you want a man. Why you can't keep the man? Why you can't keep the man? Because you don't need one. I yeah. want you understand what we're saying. I have seen a lot of Venezuelans come in this country. And Venezuelan women have walked up to me and say, we need man. So, ladies, be careful of you see, what is saying. The words, the affirm, we talk about affirmations, yeah. but we did even talk on your about own personal daily affirmations. Ladies, if your goal is to get a good man, listen. If your goal in life is to get one good man, you were ten, you were one good man, and if any time in your life since you born say, I don't need a man, then you have sown what you reaping at this present moment. Start to change your words, start to change the affirmations you're making, start yes. to change them. You see, you see Trinidadian women have put themselves in a pit with their mouth. Yeah, and if it is you say that you don't need a man, you want the man, you want to have sex, <laughs> you are the man. You want a bulb change, is the man. You, you know, want I... to feel comfortable any night, is the man. And when it is you say you don't, Listen. One, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, not one, mm -hmm. need. The word is, let me need. keep this thing yeah. straight. I don't need a man, yes. Women earlier, you see again, we need to understand the words we're using. If you don't need a man, that's why they're coming and going. Because you need him. And women have said this, I want a man, you know, but I don't need him. True. 
women or they put or they self there. True. You see the words coming out of your mouth? Or they put or they self in the coffin. And the man just come and nail the freaking coffin. Yeah, so I'll be saying is that she said that too. Yes. Remember when we spoke about energy? When we spoke about putting things into the universe, Abby, mm -hmm. you're supposed to tell me if you went and do something good for the co-worker who you don't like or don't like you. Yeah. That was the homework for the, the life from yeah. the force, so you let me know. People. Laws of attraction. Laws of attraction, we talk about energy. Yeah. Right? And we talk about what we put into the universe with yeah. our affirmations. If it is that from since you uh, know yourself, mm -hmm. them words come out of your mouth, that's what you're reaping now. Don't blame the man. Because it have women here with good really I know it have women who are long, long, long marriage, who happy with the man they with. Not every woman in Trinidad could say what some of you ladies say now. Yeah. The lady from um is is Laramie, you know, where she was on and she said she's happy with Peasantville. And she's of East Indian descent and the gentleman is African. Yeah. And she said she's happy with her, her yes. man, everything is going good. That is the first woman I hear. You know why? All your mouth. All you ever fall out of the man and the man say, it's all your mouth that's poorly in trouble. Because you will be with a man who is trying. Money coming out of your pocket. He ain't everything. He ain't the, you know what I mean? Yeah. He trying. He ain't no perfect man because I ain't no perfect man. And as soon as all your fall out, me and it he, all they just call all your girlfriend on the phone and tell all about them that, that clip. All they won't tell he that. All they will pick up your phone and I call him my girls. See the head? Like they get cut off. And your girlfriends now will be biased. So you know what they will say? Yeah. Girl, you too good for that. Leave here, he's not good for nothing. And you know what you will say? You know that is true. And you say, I don't need it. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You see, three, four all you coming together and saying that have more power than one mouth. You see, one voice with many people. Mm -hmm. When all you come together in one voice, how oh, a choir the song. When a choir come together in one voice, harmony. they just have harmony and more power. So yeah. if the people you have around you, females, something happening in your relationship, perfect, it's falling out. And you could pick up that phone and call your so-called girlfriends. And all them could tell is add flame to the fire and it help you to a hey, go resolve it, hug him up. You know what I mean? Let me get this thing all the let me, you know, call him out. Which one of all your girlfriends ever heard all they had that issue with the man and offer to well, be I the mediator? Mm -hmm. Which one of the women here could say when they call their girlfriend? You know, Jane, he had a picture with she and the phone. <laughs> Not what, which one of all you can see the girlfriend say, hold on, hold on, oh God, I know it. Let me talk to him now. Nah. You want yeah. me call him and let me say, no. no. They enable your behavior. Yeah. And when they enable your behavior, this, this has no bridle. And if you can't control this, that point you know, are in trouble. Tell her set, or look could come off. Words of affirmation, I have always said what you speak and you're speaking and you're speaking this thing. You are no living proof of your words coming to pass. And you, some people say that when they was 21, you know? Um. So here, them thing because they say they're 21, they can't reap it when they're 35. True. <laughs> Don't think because you say it when you was 21 and you're hot and sweaty. You ain't gonna reap it now, no. Hmm. Think about it. These girlfriends that enabling that toxic energy, all they need to get rid of them. My training women, all they start to say, all they need we. You see, let me tell you something. You see, a man, when you start to tell him you need, and all they just do things and act a certain way, once we realize all they need we, we go find somebody who need we. I don't need he. He wasn't walking no way and I pay everything. Hmm. And he gone for the, for the buster now. Because the buster said, baby, don't go and need you. Baby, don't. You see this independent woman syndrome that's going on? That killing black women, boy. I have never heard a Caucasian white woman say that. Hmm. I'm telling you, I know. Oh, and it have Caucasian white, I mean white women who are very affluent and they yeah. still don't say that. 
You see this independent. I can do it on my own. You see Beyonce with I'm a survivor. Why is she a divorce, Jay Z? <laughs> I'm a survivor on my own know. way. All the independent ladies. Are Mount that time, Jay Z was all kind of thing, and she's still with Jay Z. If she's shop it, she ain't even a guy, good man. We should leave that for one of them whoever to come go with it. You feel she ain't that? Mm. And then that's true too. Yes. Yes, all the independent ladies, yeah, independent taking, care ladies taking care of their babies. Taking care of their babies, that is rubbish. <laughs> all you have to keep that family close. Stop letting these people tear the fabric of our family. Yes, you know? That is what's going on. You know? Yeah. And our Caribbean ladies, our ladies of color, right? Our well shit. Check what's going on. They only push that kind of mindset to you. In the States right now, an African woman could be on welfare with the children once the man is not in the home and they tell them, keep him out and take the welfare. You're pushing men out. What would happen? Where's the ratio? African men are one of the most sought after men in this world. I'm saying it with a straight face. Because African men is built white, shiny, European. We, got, we males have been with the most amount of different races on the planet. Why? <laughs> Ladies, your mouth. Right? Ladies, your mouth. Yes, yeah, so we have Terence saying that's it, self line. Don't group up and try to get counseling from independent woman. If your girlfriend's single, why are you calling she? You know, I don't understand people. Yeah. Your girlfriend ain't no man, but you're calling she to complain about your relationship. She wants you single too, you know, because she's lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Misery need company. No woman who ain't good. Yeah. Outstanding relationships. Just always say, Gil, let me work this out. Come on, see how we can call him, man. Come, let me yeah. see how we could do this thing. Come, call him. Come, you want me to sit down and talk? You want my husband call him and reason with him as a man? Or even it might have just few single ladies who understand the value of a relationship. No, not the, not the clip. When a woman, when girls have a clip, they just be biased to their friend. So you're saying they don't have nobody in that It might have, well, you just think about the 1%. I want no man in a 100,000. It might have, I yeah. know, the 1%. Yeah, but remember, no. Think about our culture, Caribbean culture. When ladies have a clip, it's an enabling set of ladies that are wrong them. Yeah. So if something happens with a the man, they just bash the man. You have to understand. You come in together with that next woman to bash the man you with now. And you go home feeling happy. He will leave you. He might leave it a day, he can leave you. And I ain't saying horn, you know. I say leave. He even want to come back there. Think about that's sad. He don't even want to come back again. You know how sad that is? Yeah. So ladies, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about how to keep the man tomorrow. Taro, you gotta get what that is. <laughs> Inbox way now, we go fix it. Right, so the topic for the next extra is How to keep a man. So it's your boy Lion. And a girl chica chi. Ask a man about man thing. Stop asking a man. We go out. <laughs>